updated Eyewitness News, your weather authority app from your app store today. Now, from your weather authority, meteorologist Ron Rhodes. Well, yesterday and on Monday, we were in the top three coldest dates. Top three in the, or maybe I should say bottom three. <laughs> One of the three coldest March 5th on record in Evansville, which dates back, our records do, to the 1800s. So, it's been around a long time. And that was top three yesterday. And then also one of the three coldest on Monday. Today, we did not make the top three. All right. <laughs> That's a little bit warmer. We were pretty close to making the top three, though. I'll say that. Uh, in third place was 1901 at 12 degrees. We started, you know, at 16. So we weren't quite as cold as aught one. Uh, the coldest was actually nine below in 1960. Obviously, that was a pretty cold March. And, of course, 1978, we had a couple of records earlier this this week from 78. Anyway, our King's Cam, that's of course downtown Evansville, looking out toward the Lloyd Expressway and uh, getting a good look at what's going on out there uh, on the Lloyd Expressway. Eastbound and westbound traffic looks like it's rolling along pretty well. Anyway, 26 degrees right now, so we're slowly warming up through the 20s. We're going to hit a high temperature, calling it mid-30s for most all of us, but we're going to thaw out. I think that's the main thing. And really, when you've been in a freezer for a few days like we have, it just feels so good, especially with the sunshine out. You're going to notice that this afternoon, especially with the wind not quite as prevalent as what it was yesterday. Still a breeze to let you know it's out there, west-northwest at around 6. And it's going to be from the west in that 5 to 15 mile prior range. Can we do a temperature run? Let's give it a go. 23 in Lagodi, 24 in Vincennes, 25, and we stop at 25, of course. 26 in Princeton, 27 in Jafter, 28 degrees in Henderson, 29 Calhoun, and 30 degrees in Owensboro. And again, all of us should be in the 30s, low to mid 30s for high today. Wind speed wise in the 5 to 10 mile per hour range, even have a few calms out there. Like to see that. Still, it feels like temperature though in the teens for some of us. 16 is what it feels like in Princeton with that wind. 19 here in town. 19 also in Tell City. Elsewhere in the 20s, so not really feeling all that bad. Well, the water is receding, but check this out. Some of the ice formations that were left behind, these look like lampshades here. This is in Providence. Just absolutely cool where we had the ice frozen at the top of the water, then the water receded down and left these like chandeliers out there. Julie Lee got that picture right there. Julie, thank you so much. Sent me a few of them. I like that one uh, the best, but they were all good. Live first morning Doppler not showing anything. As we take a look across the region, you're seeing a little bit of cloud cover just outside of Indianapolis, but the sunshine in Indy right now, a few clouds up in Chicago, but you can travel to St. Louis, Nashville, Lexington, Louisville, things are looking good, plenty of sunshine. You are noticing more clouds, though, starting to spill into the Kansas City area, and they will be moving into the tri-state later on this evening. We're going to see an influx in clouds, not bringing anything as far as precipitation to begin with, but tomorrow morning, first thing, we could see a few flakes of snow. Here we are at 6 o'clock, mainly north of 64, but we might even get a little shot of it down to the south of 64. It's not going to amount to much of anything. Just to let you know that it's going to be out there tomorrow morning. As temperatures warm, though, we might see right around noon, even though it's not showing up on our future tracker, I think a few sprinkles out there south of 64. But up to the north, it looks like it's going to be predominantly snow throughout much of the day tomorrow. So it could pile up a little bit up around US 50, and I think it's going to be a few inches up around Terre Haute or Bloomington if you're traveling there tomorrow. Now, as we go into Friday, though, temperatures warm up even more, and we're going to be seeing just rain out there for Friday. And then as we head into Saturday, we're going to be seeing some rain. We'll get a break on Friday night, by the way, if you're going to be heading out. Looks like a cloudy night, but at the same time dry. And then showers and thunderstorms are going to come rumbling in on Saturday as we start to warm up even more. But kind of the price we pay for the warm up. Plenty of sunshine, and we're going to thaw out this afternoon with a high in the low to mid-30s. West wind at 5 to 15. I'm calling it 34 degrees for a high here in Evansville. 43 tomorrow. You get a lot of clouds, perhaps a few flakes north, a few drops of rain down to the south later in the morning, but not amounting to much. A little bit of light rain Friday, and, of course, the heavy rain on Saturday. But look at the high on Saturday. We hit 62 degrees. That's more like it.